What happened at Bletchley Park after Enigma was broken in January 1940? I'm here in Hut 6. This was the section put together to break German Enigma ciphers. Bletchley Park were planning to use methods handed to them by Polish codebreakers in July 1939 and they spend the second half of 1939 getting ready and there's a lot of preparation ahead of what they anticipate will be a break of Enigma so it's not a surprise and in particular Gordon Welshman who comes into uh, the, the organisation at the start of the war and starts to familiarise himself with Enigma traffic and what messages actually look like and how they might be broken he starts to plan and he puts together a section which will become known as Hut 6 when it moves into this building to break the ciphers. Unfortunately, when um, Bletchley Park have finished their preparations, they're not able to break messages and there is a period of uncertainty where they're not sure why this is. And there are worries that the Germans have changed their systems at the start of the war and the Polish techniques aren't going to work. The problem was a miscommunication about some elements of the design of the Enigma machine. And when Alan Turing goes over to Paris in January 1940 to meet the Polish codebreakers who are now working there, he discovers this problem and he communicates it back to Bletchley Park. And they're able to break Enigma for the first time in this country on the 22nd of January 1940. And from that point on, on the codebreaking side, it's all systems go. Uh, Hut 6 moves into the building from which it takes its name, becomes operational, and they start to break these messages as quickly as possible. What nobody's really thought about is what do you do with enemy messages once you're reading them? 